can this work? Will this work? everyone and I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another orchid adventure with me Maria Young okay folks so I was not going to do an update I wasn't supposed to because I really wanted to show progression and do a series on these but oh man oh man oh man you guys have been requesting left and right here there and everywhere that I go ahead and do an update on these gals so how could I resist you guys already know that majority rules and if the public demands then indeed I shall abide by your request so today we will be giving you an update on these extreme propagations if you guys remember about a month ago actually over a month ago we had decided to do an extreme propagation to see if we can indeed get these to not only survive but to give off some babies in effort to promote their longevity, their livelihood, and continue to keep their legacy alive. And indeed, folks, when we started this mission, I was so worried because I didn't even know if this could be possible. It was something that I read one time. Um, it seemed pretty logical to me, but I had never seen it done before. And folks, in essence, what I did is I took one for the team because I wanted to see if we could perhaps learn of another method of growing and propagating these orchids right here. And through this experiment, I have already learned so much and it is still way early in the game. Game, but there have been so many noticeable changes in this experiment thus far. And folks, I really want to thank everyone out there that has really paid close attention to what is going on and has shown a sincere interest in finding out exactly what will happen in this experiment. I want to give a shout out to Bill of Plants and Things who made a comment and he really said that he believed that this was such a brilliant project and he was really hoping that this really would showcase exactly what these Phalaenopsis can do and he was really hoping that indeed this would work. Thank you so much for your vote of confidence and thank you for taking an interest and tuning in to this project. I also want to give a shout out to Wade and also Rosemary who was very comical throughout this experiment. Um, actually it was so funny because Wade and also Rosemary said the same thing. Now that these two Phalaenopsis have been split in two, they both stated that they indeed now have split personalities and I agree with you because these girls are quite crazy. And Rosemary actually said quite a comical thing about these girls. She said that even though they they look excellent. She said now that they've been split in two they probably walk with a limp. Well I am here to tell you and affirm to you that not only are they walking with a limp but they are now weebling and wobbling like all over the place like this. Weeble wobble weeble wobble. <laughs> Rosemary, I want to say thank you for just making this entire experience a bit comical and you know what, you are just as quirky as I am. So what I'm going to do here folks is I'm going to introduce you 
to my phalaenopsis in which I have given them a name and I have named them after my good friend Rosemary. So these two girls, this is actually Rose ta -da, and this is Mary. Da -da 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 -da. So together they are Rosemary. Okay, anyways folks, seriously now, seriously, back to the topic at hand. As you guys know, we have done this experiment and it's been about a month since I have done the extreme and brutal propagation. And indeed, we have noticed a significant difference in these two orchids and I will show you exactly their condition and what the prognosis is at this time. Okay folks, so in this experiment I have been proven right and I have also been proven wrong. Also, we have noticed some good things and some bad things and indeed there are some good news and also some bad news. But you know what? Sometimes you have to take the good and you have to take the bad and then you take them both and there you have the facts of life. The facts of life. The facts of life. Dun, 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 dun. Because I don't know the words. But you take the good, you take the bad and there you have the facts of life. The facts of life. The facts of life. Anyways, yeah, so we're going to take them both and we're going to show you exactly what's been going on. Okay, so let's start off by saying that in the beginning, I told you guys that what I believed was that the leaves would maintain its consistency and that it would endure the entire process. And I did not believe that the leaves would fade away at any given time, that they would in fact last and new growth would just grow from them. And of course, they would also remain as well. Well, some of the indications with these leaves, I've started noticing some wrinkling, some yellowing, and other things going on with these leaves that I now believe that I don't think that these are going to last. I think eventually when the new growth start coming out, it's going to derive its energy from the leaves itself and eventually you will start noticing this wilt away. That's my belief. And now I'm going to show you why I believe that to be true. But first I will give a disclaimer because there has been an injury sustained to this Phalaenopsis, not through the propagation process, but through negligence because I actually took these inside of the house and I hung them up fairly high and they weren't secure and they actually dropped, fell to the floor and fell in such a way it literally broke its leaf. And it actually did that to this other one as well, as you see here. But again, that was not through the propagation process, that was through my negligence. I apologize, Phalaenopsis, Rose and Mary. I am so, so sorry. But now if we take a closer look, some of these leaves are really beginning to show a little bit of wear and tear. It's starting to become a little papery and indeed there are noticeable wrinkles in the leaves. This back leaf right here actually shows yellowing and it might just be a sign of old age. You know, usually the back end of the leaves will fall off first. So indeed it might just be that, but I wanted to show you that indeed. This is wilting away, beginning to yellow and soon it will fall off. Now the front leaf has really remained its consistency. Not too much change there. Um, I'm noticing maybe a little bit of wrinkling at the very end but that's about it. It's still very firm and it's still, you know, very thick and fleshy. Also with this one right here, the front leaf is very thick, very fleshy. Not too much change in this. But if we go to the leaf behind, and again, this is where I neglected it and that was my accident. But even here, you're starting to see some wrinkling there and again a little bit more papery so it's starting to show signs that perhaps this will become weakened and that eventually in time they will fall off so i kind of changed my prediction on that i i don't think these will survive the longevity um i think that eventually when the new growth start coming i think it will fade away 
So let's take a close look at the actual wound area where we did the split. As you can see, it's fully healed. It's very woody. It's calloused over. And I have been watering this like normal and it has not caused any type of infection. And it is really good to go right here. No more concerns on the healing process. I used um, cinnamon powder on this and it worked excellent. Very, very good in helping this to dry out very quickly. And if we also take a look at this other one here, you are also seeing very good healing on this one. Um, definitely healed over, calloused over, and this area is definitely good to go as well. And I've been watering them as normal and keeping them in my garden. Now taking a good look at the root area, the root has been doing well. And if you actually take a look closer, you will see that they actually have root tips that have begun to grow. And that is definitely good news because that lets you know that it definitely is growing and it is maintaining its survival. And if we take a close look at this wound area right here, you are beginning to see new growth coming right from that cut. And it is very interesting to see actual roots beginning to grow from where I made that incision. So yes, even roots are growing from this cut area. Indeed, a sign of life. Indeed, a sign of survival. And taking a close look at this other root system right here, good news as well because we are definitely seeing new growth coming from the older roots. So definitely this one is maintaining its livelihood as well. The roots are looking very healthy and indeed a good sign of life and progress. Now looking at this particular Phalaenopsis right here, I did notice something very strange. It did have a noticeable spacing in between these two leaves. It almost appeared as though this was pushing this front leaf forward definitely showing that space. So I was wondering what was going on in this area. And I did notice what appeared to be a very swollen area right here. And I was thinking perhaps there was a form of growth that was gonna come out of this, perhaps even a new growth, at least that's what I was hoping. But upon further inspections, I did notice that in between the leaves, there actually seems to be roots. One on this side, which seems like a lighter green, and one on the other side, which seems more of a silvery color. But that silvery colored one right there, that root is actually causing the swell because eventually it will break through that area right there. So. That doesn't appear to be a new growth, but instead that swelling is being caused by that root that wants to burst forth in that area. So taking a close look at this entire plant, it doesn't appear that there is an actual key key growth at this time. Although we have noticed an abundance of growth in the root, unfortunately, Alas, no cakey yet, but again, it's still early in the game, so we do have to still monitor this plant right here. But I do have to share with you something very peculiar that's going on with this Phalaenopsis right here. When I cut this, you guys understand that I did split it right down the middle. And when I cut this, this actually had no leaf in this area at all. And if we take a closer look now, it appears that there is a leaf that is trying to grow in the center. It's very tiny right now, but it's definitely green and it's definitely beginning to poke out where again, it was not there before. So this is a very awkward discovery right here because you would think that there would be no possible way, the way that I cut this, that a leaf could actually continue to grow 
in the center. But indeed, that is what it is showing. So folks, although there is no keiki yet, there may be a probability that new leaves will come from the center and this will continue to grow as a healthy, happy plant. But we'll have to wait and see, folks. Definitely, we'll have to wait and see. And it's still not out that a KK can still grow from this. Because as you guys know, orchids could absolutely do whatever they want to do. Always expect the unexpected. Okay, so let's further inspect this other one and see exactly what's going on. Again, the root system is doing fantastic and you are seeing a lot of growth. And as we're looking around, let's see if we notice any growth that's peculiar. And folks, please excuse the background noise. No, we are not shooting up people here. Um, it's actually 4th of July, so in early preparation, people are practicing their fireworks. So that's what it is. We're not killing people here. Um, okay, anyways, if we take a close look, guys, I don't know if you see what I see, but folks, right there. That right there, folks, is not a root that is an actual new growth. So yes, hip hip hooray, we have discovered a new growth on this Phalaenopsis right here. So indeed folks, this is shooting off its keiki in effort to survive, in effort to maintain its legacy, and it has been successful in doing just that. And I want to show you another awkward thing about this Phalaenopsis. So as I was inspecting this Phalaenopsis, I did notice that this right here, which was a piece of the old leaf where I split, where I cut in half, I noticed that this started pushing this out for whatever reason. And before it laid flat. So I was wondering what in the world was going on with that. And upon further inspection, folks, what I discovered, if we take a look underneath, do you see that right there, folks? Do you see what I see? It appears to be another new growth that's coming from underneath what used to be its leaf. And it definitely appears to be yet another keiki growing right in the center. Isn't that absolutely awesome? Wow. Indeed, expect the unexpected from these little guys. These Phalaenopsis will find any and every way to survive. And just as long as you provided assistance, it definitely will find a way. And I also want to let you guys know that down in this stem area right here, I did notice that there is a definite swell point right here as well. And I'm not quite sure if that's going to be a new growth of a keiki or a new growth of a root. But there definitely is something that is going to come out of this area also. So definitely that's something that we have to keep an eye out as well. But as of right now, this is indicating that there are two actual keikis that are growing on this plant. So indeed, this is a successful propagation right here on this Phalaenopsis gal. Okay, folks, and that is it with today's update on this extreme propagation. And as you guys have seen, this one in particular, Mary has shown progression. Definitely, there are two keikis that are beginning to grow on her. Of course, again, the roots are very hardy and they are growing well also. And of course, with Mary right here, she is also showing some root growth. No keikis as of yet, but again, I showed you in the center where it appeared to be having leaves that are beginning to grow right from the center there. So it appears that she will grow new leaves and she will continue to thrive still from this center wound area. 
So definitely remarkable, remarkable folks on what the progression for these two Phalaenopsis have been. I thank you guys all so much for staying tuned on this extreme and very nerve-wracking propagation right here. But indeed, it has been such a wealth of information and such a great discovery for us all. So indeed, continue to stay tuned because definitely I want to show you everything that happens to this Phalaenopsis right here. But even as of right now, it has been a big thumbs up that this indeed can actually be a propagation method for the Phalaenopsis and it indeed works and just as long as I continue to take good care of these um, they will continue to thrive and continue to produce new growth and of course new cakeys. Again, thank you so much for tuning into yet another orchid adventure with me Maria Young and also Rose and Mary. Wow, they have been just such spectacular candidates right here and such spectacular volunteers. And indeed, we thank them both for taking one for the team. And definitely stay tuned for more folks because as you guys know, I am doing some more extreme propagations. I'm actually gonna do a very, very extreme propagation on this Vanda girl right here. Definitely stay tuned for that. And also we will be doing this extreme propagation on this Phalaenopsis right here as well. So indeed, there is so much more to come. Stay tuned for more folks. You don't want to miss it. Thank you guys so much and happy orchid growing to you. Bye bye. Okay, folks, and as a bonus feature, you guys remember this actual rescue project that I was doing on this Phalaenopsis that experienced root rot and also severe crown rot, as you can see here, folks, totally rotted out in the center. I went ahead and pulled this completely out of the medium, put it in my tree, and watered it consistently. I water this daily about twice and three times a day along with my Vandas, and as you guys know, this actually produced a new growth right here. Definitely doing well and growing as you can see. Definitely growth in this from a month ago. And if we take a closer look here guys, you will also notice new growth tips of the roots as well. Doing very, very good. And if we also take another closer look, there is actually a nubbins or a bump that is beginning to grow right there and also if we move up you will notice another bump that is growing right there as well and this one in particular that's growing right here is showing a little greenish and purplish color right there i believe that is actually another new growth of a keiki and I'm not quite sure exactly what that's going to be, but I am assuming that that also may be a keiki as well. So surprise, surprise, folks. I actually believe that there are even more keikis that is going to be coming out of this rescue phalaenopsis right here. Okay, just wanted to give you guys that awesome, awesome update on this rescue orchid right here. That's it and that's all folks and I am out. Mm -hmm.